In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. On this, our holiest of days, this Good Friday morning, we'll now journey with Jesus on his road to Calvary. From his agony in the garden to his burial in the tomb. As we journey with Jesus, let us also reflect on how well and how faithfully we have journeyed with him in our own lives. And so we begin with a reflection. The hour has now come. Jesus journey along the dusty roads of Galilee and Judea, an endless encounter with afflicted bodies and hearts, a journey driven by his urgent need to proclaim the kingdom. That journey ends here today on Golgotha. Today the cross bars the way and Jesus will go no further. He can go no further. Here the love of God reveals its full measure, measure beyond measure. Today the love of the Father, who wills that all be saved in his Son, goes to the extreme where words fail, where we find ourselves bewildered, our piety overwhelmed by the superabundance of God's plan and God's will. On Calvary, contrary to all appearances, what is at stake is life and grace and peace. Here what counts is not the kingdom of evil, which we know only too well, but the triumph of love. Beneath the cross too, what is at stake is our world, with all its failings and sufferings, its pleas and protests, all those cries that in our day rise up to God from lands of dire poverty and war, from boats teeming with migrants. How many are the tears? How great is the misery in the chalice that the sun drinks for our sake? How many are the tears? How great is the misery, yet none of this will be lost in the sea of time. Instead, it will all be taken up by him, to be transfigured in the mystery of a love which vanquishes all evil. Golgotha speaks to us of God's unshakable fidelity to our humanity. In fact, a birth takes place here. We need the courage to say that all this is in fact about the joy of the gospel. Until we recognise this truth, we remain trapped in our suffering and death, and we fail to let Christ's passion bear fruit in our lives. The first station, Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because for by your, your holy, holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Then Jesus came with them to a plot of land called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Stay here while I go over there to pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee with him, and he began to feel sadness and anguish. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful to the point of death. Wait here and stay awake with me. And going on a little further, he fell on his face and prayed. My father, he said, if it is possible, let this cup pass me by. Nevertheless, let it be as you, not I, would have it. He came back to the disciples and found them sleeping. And he said to Peter, So you had not the strength to stay awake with me for one hour? Stay awake 
and pray not to be put to the test. The spirit is willing enough, but human nature is weak. We now find ourselves in this holy place, a place sanctified by the prayer of Jesus, by his agony, by his sweating of blood, and above all, by his yes to the loving will of the Father. We dread, in some sense, to approach what Jesus went through at that hour. We tread softly as we enter that inner space where the destiny of the world was decided. In that hour, Jesus felt the need to pray and to have with him his disciples, his friends, those who had followed him and shared most closely in his mission. But there, at Gethsemane, following him became difficult and uncertain. Jesus, your friendship, your faithfulness and your mercy are a priceless gift. Despite our failures and mistakes, help us to follow you, trusting and knowing that you will always be by our side and holding us by the hand. Amen. The second station. Jesus is betrayed. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because for by your, your holy cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Nơi thứ hai, Đức Chúa Giêsu vác thanh gia, lạy ơn Đức Chúa Giêsu, chịu đánh nát cá và mình ra, cùng vác thanh gia nặng vì tội chúng con. Xin ban ơn cho con chịu các sự khốn khó trong bậc con như thánh gia Đức Chúa Trời đã định cho con phải chịu mà theo chân Đức Chúa Giêsu cho trọn. Bài trích phúc âm theo thánh Marco. Khi ngài còn đang nói một người trong nhóm 12 xuất hiện và cùng với y có đoàn 10 mang gươm giáo và gậy gọc do các thượng tế, ký lục và hàng niên trưởng sai đến. Kẻ độc ngài ra hiệu cho ngài cho họ rằng tôi hôn ai thì chính là người ấy, các ông hãy bắt lấy và dẫn đi cẩn thận. Vừa đến, lập tức y tiến lại mà nói với ngài Rabbi và hôn ngài, còn họ thì cha tay bắt lấy ngài. Đó là lời chưa. Peter, the good thief, and Judas are reach overcome with shame during the story. He went and confessed to the priest and tried to return the silver pieces. The priest were interested. In his shame, he despaired. What if he had met Mary instead? There is a medieval cathedral in France with two images of Judas above the entrance door. One shows Judas hanging in death. The other shows the good shepherd carrying Judas away. Lord, we know the many ways we've betrayed you, have let down the people we love, have failed to be true disciples. In our shame, help us know this is a moment of grace, and so know the full extent of your mercy. Amen. The third station. Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because for by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Dal Vangelo secondo Luca. Appena fu giorno, si riunì il consiglio degli anziani del popolo con i suoi sacerdoti e gli scribi, e lo condussero davanti al sinedro e gli dissero: Sei tu il Cristo? Dicelo. 
Gesù rispose, anche se ve lo dico, non mi crederete, e se vi interrogo, non mi risponderete. Ma da questo momento starà il figlio dell'uomo seduto alla destra delle potenze di Dio. Allora tutti esclamarono, tu dunque sei il figlio di Dio. Ed egli disse loro, lo dite voi stessi, io lo sono. Risposero, che bisogno abbiamo ancora di testimonianza? L'abbiamo udito noi stessi dalla sua bocca. The members of the Sanhedrin did not need a lengthy discussion to come to a decision. The matter had all long been settled. Jesus must die. In fact, starting in Bethlehem at the very time of his birth, when Herod had decreed that he must die, the henchmen of the usurper king had put the children of Bethlehem to the sword. That time Jesus had fled their fury, but only for a while. Already his life hung in the balance. In the sobbing of Rachel, mourning her children who were no more, we hear a prophecy of sorrow that Simeon will foretell to Mary. Lord Jesus, we claim to be on the side of good and to desire life. But we are sinners and often accomplices of death. We call ourselves your disciples, but we take paths that lead us far from your thoughts, your justice and your mercy. Do not abandon us to our violent ways. Do not lose patience with us. Deliver us from evil. Amen. The fourth station, Jesus is denied by Peter. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because for by, by your, your holy, holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. وكان بطرس قاعدا في ساحة الدار فدنت إليه جارية وقالت أنت أيضا كنت مع يسوع الجليلي فأنكر أمام جميع الحاضرين قال لا أفهم ما تقولين وخرج إلى مدخل الساحة فرأته جارية أخرى فقالت لمن كان هناك هذا الرجل كان مع يسوع الناصري فأنكر بطرس ثانية وحلفة وقال لا أعرف هذا الرجل وبعد قليل جاء الحاضرون وقالوا لبطرس لا شك إنك أنت أيضا واحدا منهم فلهجتك تدل عليك فأخذ يلعن ويحلف أنا لا أعرف هذا الرجل فصاح الديك في الحال فتذكر بطرس قول يسوع قبل أن يصيح الديك تنكرني ثلاث مرات فخرج وبكى بكاء مرا Three times Jesus looked at Peter. Andrew, his brother, said to Peter, We have found the Messiah. Come and see. After his rising, walking by the lakeside, Jesus looked at Peter and said, Feed my sheep. And here, as Peter denies Jesus three times, Jesus looks at Peter, and Peter's whole being is overwhelmed by repentance and conversion. We are always under Jesus' gaze. He always looks at us with love. He asks us something. He forgives us something. He gives us a mission. Lord Jesus, so often we look upon your cross. Today, from your cross, you look upon us. You search our hearts and know us through and through. You look on us with love, and your love invites us to come, to follow, to be healed. Amen. The fifth station, Jesus and Pilate. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Manhã principais sacerdotes, os líderes do povo e os mestres da lei, todo o alto conselho, se reuniram para discutir o que fariam em seguida. 
Então, amarraram Jesus, o levaram e o entregaram a Pilatos. Pilatos lhe perguntou, você é o rei dos judeus? Jesus respondeu, é como você diz. Os principais sacerdotes o acusaram de vários crimes e Pilatos perguntou, você não vai responder? O que diz a todas essas acusações? Mas para a surpresa de Pilatos, Jesus não disse coisa alguma. Para acalmar a multidão, Pilatos lhes soltou para baixo. Então, depois de mandar aceitar Jesus, entregou os soldados romanos para que fosse crucificado. The justice of Rome is no better than that of the Jewish Sanhedrin. At his trial, the Romans and the Jews finally agree. Yet, the time is coming, and is already at hand, when this just one will reconcile them in another way, through his cross and forgiveness to be bestowed on all, Jews and pagans alike. To receive this reconciliation, we must know ourselves guilty in the confidence that an infinite love embraces everyone. Lord our God, in looking upon Jesus, handed over and condemned by Pilate to death, we can only attempt to excuse ourselves and accuse others. Grant that we may acknowledge in your Son the innocent one who agreed to be made sin for us, so that through him you might find us once more restored to the innocence with which you created us and in which you make us your sons and daughters. Amen. The sixth station, Jesus scourged at the pillar. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Kaya ipinakuha ni Pilato si Jesus at ipinahampas. Pagkapalupot ng mga sundalo ng isang koronang tinig, ipinutong nila ito sa kanyang ulo at sinuutan siya ng balabal na pulang panghari. At naglapitan sila sa kanya at sinabi, Mabuhay ang hari ng mga hulyo. At pinagsasampal siya. The banality of evil. Jesus too becomes part of the awful flood of sorrows that we humans inflict on each other in every time and place. But the scorn and the contempt of Jesus as torturers reveal, in an absolutely paradoxical way, the unfathomable truth in his unique kingship. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings. Instead, here am I. In the scroll of the book, it stands written that I should do your will. Loving Father, on this holy day that brings your revelation to fulfillment, we ask you to tear down every idol in us and in our world. Tear down in us every deceitful illusion of success and of glory. Grant that we may acclaim Jesus, robed in purple and crowned with thorns, as the true King of glory. For it is in him and of him that the psalm sings, O gates lift high, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world.
Bahawa bagaimana ia berlian yang ada. Lalu tahu pun sepuluh malam lima, fay upoi on, on atau si dia on fay tahu sepuluh malam lima, saya fakat mai sepuluh malam fit, fak fonga untuk fay tahu ina. Uang ayat itu ia cair awal setahun lama si dia bau anda. On ala nak leh jatuh fak pia, ina fak satu roya, fak satu roya. Faya tu pila tu ia cair tu. Na veia o tu ia teia, mas eu tu faço a teoria, o a o te lei los me salai o ia, a o a la 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 ia tu, a ve seia, a ve seia, na faço a teoria ia teia, o fa pe mai pilato ia teia ia teia, o te faço a teoria e lo o tu tu tu, talia tu a o está o lava ia teia, ele aí soma a teu tu, dá o pesar. Raya tu ira tu le o ia ia te ila tu ila ia fa sa te ro ia. Pada ave le o ia su ia te ila tu. Wa ave e ia ron sa te ro. Ua maliwa tu fo ila mea ta ua. O le mea ia i le upo. Wa i ngoa i le upo e peru. O kor kota. Along the rocky way to Golgotha, Jesus did not carry the cross like a trophy. Step after step, ever more slowly, he went his way, his body weighed down, his flesh bruised, and his legs flattering beneath the wood of the cross. Jesus falls, he gets up, then falls again. Let us fix our gaze on Jesus, who has come down to us from the Father, and descends even lower, so that no one will be lost in the depths of his or her misery. Lord our God, you descended into the depths of our night. Help us to truly believe there can be no fall untouched by your mercy. No loss or abyss so deep that you cannot find the one who has gone astray. Amen. The Eighth Station Jesus and Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by, by your holy cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Aaron Malach, Vulchit le Fardara vanam Simon, a viek chachton tua, agas kornesidri ilach ercras isa a umpar. Ba as serene Simon, Agus Bahe Ahar Alexander Agus Rufusay. Jesus stumbles along the way, his back crushed beneath the weight of the cross. The Gospel mentions his name, Simon of Cyrene, and keeps alive the name of this symbol man and his symbol gesture or help. To teach us that in easing the pain of someone condemned to death, Simon eased the pain of Jesus the Son of God, without his even knowing it. Healed in us, that in each of the poor, the naked, the imprisoned, the thirsty, it is you who stands before us. It is you whom we welcome, visit, clothe and give to drink. We present to you all those acts of kindness of acceptance, of commitment, that are carried out daily in this world. Bless the men and women of compassion who give you glory, even if they do not yet know your name. Amen. The Ninth Station, Jesus and the Daughters of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. Sejumlah besar orang mengikuti dia. Di antaranya banyak perempuan yang menangisi dan meratapi dia. Yesus berpaling kepada mereka dan berkata, Hai putra putri Jerusalem, janganlah kamu menangisi aku. Melainkan, tangisilah dirimu sendiri dan anak-anakmu. Sebab lihat, akan tiba masanya orang berkata, Berbahagialah perempuan mandul, 
dan yang rahimnya tidak pernah melahirkan, dan yang susunya tidak pernah menyusui. Maka orang akan mulai berkata kepada gunung-gunung, runtuhlah menimpa kami, dan kepada bukit-bukit, timbunilah kami. Sebab, jika orang berbuat demikian dengan kayu hidup, apakah yang akan terjadi dengan kayu kering? The tears that Jesus feels, this wordless compassion, the tears of women, tears always present in this world. They fall silently down their cheeks. Not that women alone should weep, but their grief embraces all those tears shed quietly and without fanfare in a world where there is much to weep for. God of tenderness and pity, give us hearts to see the pain of others. Teach us to have the courage to weep with them. Teach us also to, the he to hear the word of grace you spoke to us on the mountain when you said, Blessed are those who weep, for they shall be comforted. Amen. Amen. The tenth station, Jesus is crucified. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Na waliko fika mahari pa ikuwa po fuvu la kichwa, ndipo waliko nsulubisha yeye na wale wa halifu, moja upande wa kuume na moja upande wa kushoto. Yesu akasema, Baba uwasamehe kwa kuwa hawajui wa tendalo, wakagawa mavazi yake, wakipiga kura. Truly God is where he shouldn't be. The beloved son, the holy one of God, is now hanging on a cross of shame, abandoned to disgrace between two criminals. A man of sorrows, truly God is where he shouldn't be. Yet at the same point, he's exactly where we need him to be. He came to share his life with us. He kept saying as he offered healing to the sick, forgiveness to the wayward hearts, and his body at the Passover meal. The tender love of God had to visit this hell of ours. It was the only way to free us from evil. Father of mercies, Father of life, receive our silent praise. We remain silent and amazed before the Lamb slain for our life and for the life of the world. We confess that by his wounds we've been healed, and we ask so often, what return can I ever make to the Lord for all his goodness to me. Christ, put to death for our sins, we beg you, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. The eleventh station, Jesus and the thief. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by, by your holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Nā, ko te tahi o ngā kaimahi kino i whakaeria rā i kohukohu ki aia i mea. Ki te mea ko te karaiti koe, whaka orangia koe māua hoki. Nā, ka whaka hoki te tahi, ka riri ki aia ka mea. E kore rā nei koe, e wehi ki te atua? Kei tēnei mate tahi nei hoki koe? Ka tika raya tō tāwa, ka fifi hoki tāwa ki ngā mea, e tika ana mō a tāwa hanga. Ko tēnei, e a ka ore ana mahi he. Nā, ko tāna mea tanga ki a ihu. E te ariki, ki a mahara koe ki a hau, i nga haere mai koe i runga i tō rangatira tanga. 
ano rā ko ihu ki aia, he pono taku e me nei ki a koe. Ko aia nei, ko e noho ai ki a hau ki pararai hā. The criminals hung beside Jesus. On his left, the arrogance of the thief and the arrogance of those who stood around, the short-sighted, the powerful, the corrupt, who even in Jesus see it another opportunity to exploit, a condemned man to criticize, a loser to be mocked, another opportunity to avoid blame, hurl guilt unto others, even unto God. And yet, while Jesus promised mercy to the thief on his right, he died also to bring mercy to those who mocked him. Father, forgive them. Lord God, you alone can convert our hearts. You alone can show us that in the end there is only love, that bitterness brings no reward. Help us to look to you, knowing our shame is swallowed up by your goodness. Make us walk in your ways, knowing that you are with us always. Amen. Amen. The Twelfth Station Jesus and His Mother We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your your holy cross cross you you have have redeemed redeemed the world. world. Estaban junto a la cruz de Jesús, su madre y la hermana de su madre, María, mujer de Cleofas, y María Magdalena. Cuando vio Jesús a su madre y al discípulo, quien, a quien él amaba, que estaba presente, dijo a su madre, Mujer, he ahí tu hijo. Después dijo al discípulo, he ahí tu madre. Y desde aquella hora el discípulo la recibió en su casa. Mary too has reached the end of the journey. She has come to the day that the elderly Simeon had foretold, a sword will pierce your own soul too. Today these words become reality. The sword that pierced her son's side pierces her own heart. Her trust in God is stretched to its very limit. In the darkness she prays that God keeps his promises. Hail, Holy Queen, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Mary, Mother of God and woman of our race, sustain our faith at the hour of darkness and teach us to hope against all hope. Help us when we are led to where we would not go. Help us always to believe that there will be light even when it seems beyond our imagining. Amen. The third station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because because by by your your holy cross cross you you have have redeemed redeemed the world. Luke, vai wa tolu. Me ai ene feu nga nai, mo hono no o hoa. Na hoko hapori ke fono wa pato. Oa o ki ono hiva o hoa. Me ai fo hapori ala, ana ma hai ai lo to tatau fa re tapu. Ya kala nga re ola hi ase su one pehe. E tamai o ko tuku ho ko lau mari e ki oni ma. Ya i hene re pehe na ne hoko taki. Jesus had come forth from the Father on a mission of mercy, and know it is accomplished. All is ended. Jesus commends himself into the hands of the Father. Deadly silence that now descends on Golgotha and the three crosses that stand there, the collapse of hope. His side is pierced with the lands, and water and blood flow forth. From Jesus' body comes forth the flood of water that the prophet had seen issuing from the temple, 
a flood that swells and becomes a mighty river whose waters restore and make fruitful all that they touch in their course. Lord Jesus, as we contemplate the water and the blood flowing from your side, teach us to recognise the new life that flows from your cross. Help us to find in you the fountain of living water which makes our life possible. May your life be our only glory, for your grace is our constant strength. Amen. The fourteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man of Arimathea called Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate thereupon ordered it to be handed over. So Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean shroud, and put it in his own new tomb, which had been hewn out of the rock. He then rolled a large stone across the entrance of the tomb and went away. Only Mary, a few others remain faithful to the end. In the great silence that fell after the shouting of the soldiers, the insults of the passerby and the commotion of the crucifixion, there are only signs of love and care, reverent caresses. Jesus is taken from the hands of his killers. Now in death, he is once again in the hands that treat him with tenderness and compassion. This is the gentleness of God and of those who are his own, those meek hearts that Jesus promised would one day inherit the earth. The gentleness of the end of time, when every tear shall be wiped away, all will come to the knowledge of God. Lord our God, grant that we who have accompanied Jesus your Son along this path of love to the very end may remain now in expectant prayer of his rising. For we know that our prayers will be answered by the resurrection of Jesus, which your church now prepares to celebrate with the joy eventually of Easter night. Amen. As our journey comes to an end now, we do wait expectantly to celebrate later today the passion and death of Jesus our Lord. Let us join in the prayer then that he gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we, we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us in our waiting, walk with us on our journey, and help us find our home in the wounded side of Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.